Big news for the fishery tonight. The province's price setting panel has set the opening price for this season's snow crab fishery at $2.20 a pound. Now that's much lower than last season's opening price of $7.60. $2.20 was the price recommended by the Association of Seafood Producers, but the fisheries union calls this newest price a catastrophe that rivals the cod moratorium. Here now, Terry Roberts caught up with the FFA. FAW union president Greg Pretty a short time ago. What does that mean for your members? It's an incredible economic blow to our members in the entire province. I can't believe what I saw today. They, what they've done here, Terry, if they, they've taken all of the hurt in that market situation and transferred it to the shoulders of our members, of our harvesters. And that is completely unfair. There was room there. We were closer to the market. Place. I'm not going to argue that today, but we have an immediate problem in this fishery. People can't fish for 220. That's as simple as that. You can't go to work for 70% less than your income. I don't expect you to be a broadcaster after that. And these harvesters are in tough shape. I can tell you that right now. We're looking at bankruptcies here. We're looking at people who can't afford to have crew members anymore pay their bills because of this a crazy decision. It needs to be revisited, and we're about to, to have to do some call for uh, meetings with the province on that, and perhaps the Fed for some disaster relief. Do you know what this means to this province over from last year? A downturn of over $500 million. A half a billion dollars to this province. And people can walk away and say, hey, that's fine, let's have a fishery. Well, our members have told us, our harvesters have told us, they're not, they can't, it doesn't make any sense to fish on 220. So we're gonna need some assistance here. And so that's the next step. Okay, so next up, so uh, obviously the fishery is scheduled to start next week. Normally when we'd see uh, uh, harvesters slip the lines and go to sea. So what is the plan then? Harvesters have told us already, we got a very clear message. We have a bargaining committee made up of the full spectrum of crab harvesters. So I know what the economics are. And there were no economics in 220. We can't have a strike, as you know, because we're bound by, by the act. But people have a right to make a decision whether they fish, the same as the processor has a decision to make whether what they want to buy. But so the next step is to call for meetings with the Premier and with the Feds because we're going to need some, some relief here. We're going to need some disaster recovery here because it's that serious. How can the, the greatest crab fishery on this planet be reduced to poverty in the wink of an eye? And so that's what we have to adjust. That's what we have to look after. And I'm confident we'll be able to do that. What would you say to those who might say, look, this is what the market can bear? Obviously, if the, if the price setting panel says this is what the price should be, this is what the market should, well, I can bear. Say, I would say from our, our considered perspective, our price is closer to what the market can bear. And that, that transferred $180 million to the processors. That's not fair. We can't, we can't stand the entire burden of this market uh, collapse or uh, downturn. It'll come back. But in the meantime, we can't have bankruptcies and people going over the winter uh, with, without income. So it's a very serious problem. 